I've been at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you look at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony. His dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? This kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, old man, old man. Nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old Jeez, man. Very funny. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it has been washed up all cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or how you got involved with killers. Uh, I own this town, amigo. <laughs> that's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got them right. Hey, you don't take that from this punk, all right? You can nothing from him. God hasn't already tried him. But I'm not stuck. Anytime. Now say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Harsh, being caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Fuck on, look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit, cop cut. Don't act clever. I'm gonna blow your brains out all over this town, Africa. Fucking where? Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. I'm gonna shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Mike, you ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Oh, fuck the hell. Put the gun down now. Thank you, thank you. Now get the fuck out of here before you get shot. I got you. Who's fucking you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Go on. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna come back for you, fuck. I look forward to it. Stay right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bailey, how you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember me? Passos, how Passos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up, I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. And I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Love this the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. March is by. He had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Uh, I don't look like I did a Shakespeare or something. Well, I'm a Soldier! <laughs> you thought you still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like Spix and tell me to fuck off. Well, oh, good for you. Now fuck off. Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole. No dick, asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you. You spray tan Guido douche. This girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I've gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. Maybe I wanted to die there, amongst the empty bottles, in my slept-in clothes. When you write your life into a tragedy, events don't always follow suit. They barred the front door, of course. We were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. I wallowed in the misery. It's not the first time I've been self-indulgent with regrets. It wouldn't be the last. waiting outside for us.
The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. I still didn't remember having met Passos before. But then again, I didn't have any friends left in those days and I didn't remember most nights after 6 p.m. Keep moving. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. set me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him. The bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. Nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saudi. Gesundheit. You're the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've warned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. Yeah, just better. Lay low for a while. Yo, I went on the roof. Yo, I want on every doorway. And you guys, I want every fucking corner coming. About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard. Me, a hundred angry grease balls. Who's that? Yeah, Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max yeah, that looks about right. We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When did I ever need to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Almost, man, let's go! Throw this old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight, I didn't need a shield. and pills. What could possibly go wrong? I guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. Try your skin and try your bones. But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene!
It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that. But I got to thinking, it was what he was waiting for. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, episode 203. We join our hero on a date at the arcade with Bicycle Helmet Girl. Yeah, we're not on a date. We join our hero on a top secret training mission. That's more like it. When in the flick of an eye, the trickster sussy appears <laughs> and grabs Bicycle Helmet Girl. Uh, then suddenly the Twitch to Sussy presents his latest evil trick, a devilish aging ray. Oh, for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. fancy green light on my gun. Just a stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I hadn't wanted to live so bad in years. Up and out. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Fire over Hoboken. Felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Alright, guys, let's look alive. I'm gonna get this trick. Come on, I wanna get some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid.
They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. forgotten about those. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex cop and me clocked it months ago. But the deadbeat and we didn't give a shit. Quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Want a job yet, Max? <laughs> <laughs> 